What's up guys? So we are at Trader Joe's for the like third time this week. This is embarrassing. So lately, I, I do flexible dieting in general, and I like to incorporate a lot of fun foods. But what happens with me when I do this is I'll buy something that I really like, I try to portion it out, weigh it out, I end up overeating it because I have zero self-control. And usually they're things that I don't get very often. So honestly, I'm human, yes, it's hard for me to control these things. So um, I'm gonna start getting my clean foods again. I'm not gonna get anything that I have the tendency to overeat. So some of my foods that I get are things like Power Crunch Bars, almond butter. So what I do in order to not overeat these things and like chocolate covered almonds and things like that is to buy a single serving packet. So I'll buy a single serving packet of almond butter, one Power Crunch Bar at a time, and this kind of helps me not overeat it. But anyways, I'm at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a little grocery haul for you guys, show you guys what I'm gonna get. I already have a lot of things at home actually, so I'm not gonna get like a ton, but I will keep you updated. Let's go inside. Right, guys i am back from the grocery store i almost got struck by lightning i swear it's like i thought it was a beach day today florida man never know anyways i'm gonna show you guys what i got here so first things first i got three bags actually taco shells this one i've actually never tried before but i figured that i might make some tacos so um this one is only 130 calories for two it is seven grams of fat 14 grams of carbs and two grams of protein. So I figured I could put like, I don't know, any beans and, and something, cheese, chicken, something inside of it. So I got this. Ezekiel bread. I really like the sesame kind because I think that it tastes a little bit better when I toast it. I make avocado toast, egg sandwiches, um, French toast with this, you name it, everything. The best. Next thing I got is Smart Tenders. So I've had these before and it's actually really good and I like trying to eat a little bit more on the vegan vegetarian side when I can. However, I do not label myself as a vegan or vegetarian or anything. Um, if I'm craving chicken or steak or something, I have it. I do have what I'm craving most of the time and I did get some regular chicken too. Uh, most of the time chicken will bother my stomach so I try to avoid meat of any kind. All right, next thing we got is spinach, lettuce, more spinach. I got three bags of it. I make a ton of salads. It's my like, it's like one of my favorite foods. I know that's super weird, but um, I really enjoy that. So that's what I got. I got some hard boiled eggs. This is kind of if I'm on the go and I don't have time to make anything. For protein, I'll just have a couple of these. Um, it really works and it's super, super, super easy. Peppers. Avocados. Okay, got apple, peach. Also got a sweet potato. Moving on, moving on. Rice cauliflower. I'm sure a bunch of you guys already eat this. It's super popular now. Um, so got that, got some broccoli slaw. I put this on top of my salads all the time just to give it like a little bit of a crunch. It's really good. Um, zucchini, squash, butternut squash. I've never tried the um, zigzag things before, but I figured I could try to make like, I, I could try to make like french fries with it. I don't know if that would even really work because of the, um, it kind of softens when it when you cook it, so I don't know 
if I could make it crispy on the stove, I will try and I'll let you know. But that's an option. Got some pineapple because I love, love pineapple. Got some grilled, grilled chicken strips. So I get this when I know that I'm not going to have time to cook. And it's super freaking easy and it tastes amazing. Rainbow cauliflower. So this is only four grams of carbs and two grams of protein for a cup. Um, so it's just purple cauliflower, green, orange, and white cauliflower. I didn't know they had this many kinds of cauliflower, honestly. But um, I'll try it out for a stir fry. I'll probably add like some soy sauce or something, which is another thing that I use. I always, I should have gotten more of this. I thought I had a ton left, but anyways, I use this from Trader Joe's. It is Island Soyaki Sauce. It's just five grams of carbs for a tablespoon. So I always put this, sometimes even on my salads, but I always make different stir fries with this and it tastes delicious. It's, it's my favorite thing, I swear. Red Argentinian Shrimp. So for four ounces, it's Two fat, one carb, 23 grams of protein. Um, and this stuff, it really tastes like I also got bok choy. So in my diet, I try to avoid having a ton of starchy carbs in the day because that tends to cause bloating and gas and whatever else. So things like cucumber, zucchini, bok choy, celery, spinach, lettuce, things like that are a little bit easier to digest. So I try to have more of that in my diet versus i know i got a lot of cauliflower and things like that but i try to only have that maybe like once maybe twice a day um but i do try to stick to the like lighter non-starchy vegetables next thing i got is some cottage cheese so i do not do much dairy at all but i really 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 like cottage cheese it's a like awesome snack i'll put cottage cheese with some Blueberries. I already had this in my fridge. So I'll do cottage cheese with some blueberries and I'll also do cottage cheese in my salads. That's good too. Um, I don't know. A lot of things are great with it. You have to kind of find good recipes for it. So that's really good. So I already have things like almond milk, egg whites, stuff like that. I also got this organic Z bar. So I've never tried this before, and actually, you know what, let's try it right now. Because I've never had it before, and I think that, I kind of want to know what it tastes like. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and, hmm, which is actually pretty good. I'm sitting inside of it. I would give this like an 8 out of 10, honestly. I got the chocolate chip flavor. It's five grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. Come on, it's a protein bar. It should have protein in it, like, right? I don't know why they, they always, whatever. Anyways, that's really good. It's a good carb source, I guess. Um, I also got a Power Crunch bar. If you guys know me, these are my absolute favorite. I got the salted caramel, so what I do is I put it in the freezer. I freeze it until it's ready. It's so much better like that. Okay, moving on. Okay, moving on, moving on. What I got is two of these organic cold brews. So if I can find the receipt. So this <coughs> per bottle. Okay, so it's $2.19 per cold brew. So got these diet orange sodas if you can see it so this is zero fat carb calories everything and it tastes really good i don't know if you guys like the orange but they also have um ginger ale they have diet root beer which that one's amazing actually so this is hansen's diet hansen's um and i really like this at trader joe's because you don't have to buy the whole case like you usually do it at the other places you can buy it one by one and i think it was like 40 cents per per can which is awesome. So, um, and then of course I finished off with some waters. I got some water too. And guys, I want to, I want to talk about this. 
I've been trying to avoid plastic bottles because they're really not good to drink out of. You guys are drinking, and me too, I shouldn't say you guys. We are drinking a bunch of chemicals. We're drinking, like, it, it's, it's really gross. Like, everything in the plastic bottles is not good for you at all. You're chugging this multiple times per day. I drink a gallon every single day of my life, and typically I'll get, like, a plastic bottle or something, and it's just, like... No, it's not good. It's really not good. I did get plastic bottles, and I'm not going to lie, I do this because it's easier, but seriously, we need to stop drinking out of plastic bottles. You're drinking these chemicals. It's not good for you, especially if you're drinking a ton of water each day. It might say natural spring water, whatever, organic, Fiji, whatever, but if the bottle is plastic, it's typically not good, and especially one thing that I want to talk about is living in Florida. So if you are, let's say, running errands or you're even driving around, and even if you have the AC on, the sun will still come through your window. So um, if you're leaving a plastic bottle in your driver's seat, your gallon or whatever, or in the cup holder, this is what I do, um, and it's really hot outside. It's been like 100 degrees in Florida, and it's sunny during the day. The plastic can start to melt inside the bottles. Whether you realize this or not, it can it can kind of melt a little bit and seep into the water that you're drinking. And I personally believe that this is why certain water tastes different. The container that it's in, um, I think that's a lot of the reason why water tastes different sometimes. You can disagree with me. I know that some water comes from different springs and whatever it is, and um, and some waters will add sodium and. Plastic bottles are really bad to drink out of and I am getting away from this. I'm going to buy a large water filter um, And if you have a glass bottle, I recommend Using that I actually use a glass bottle and this is what I use. It looks like this. It's pretty big actually um, and I feel like It's just better for you. It really is and especially if you're in the Sun You don't have to worry about leaving this in your car for so anyways That's that and I hope you like my little mini grocery haul. I'm gonna put this all in my fridge and I'm gonna make something with it. I have been using this softball to roll out my back for the past like 15, 20 minutes. It is the most painful thing in the entire world, but it really freaking works.